Having tasted the sweetness of the hidden life, Saint Bega found the world's honours and pleasures an empty thing, and emptier still those who sought them. She willingly put up with the mockery of worldly people who were amazed that she should scorn their amusements and entered into closer union with Jesus, the sole object of our desires. Saint Bega spent many hours walking the hills and crags of Ireland, speaking intimately to Jesus and his most holy mother. Like Mary, Saint Bega kept God always in her mind and saw him present in every creature and created thing. Her actions were directed by God, the Holy Spirit, and she fought bravely to keep free from every profane entanglement, making God the origin and end of her every action. Saint Bega understood that virtue was safer in a lowly humble condition than amidst the honours and distinctions of the world, so she sought to hide herself from man so as to be more pleasing in God's sight. She frequently asked God, as King David did in the Psalms, not to let her eyes become enamoured of empty earthly things. She knew that to live withdrawn from the world was one of the most effective means of preserving her innocence of soul. Saint Bega had a special love for the Blessed Virgin Mary and guided by Our Lady through a special inspiration, Saint Bega consecrated herself completely to Our Lord and made a private vow of her virginity to Jesus.